Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a fabulous day and everything is going fun, fun, fun. As you're hopping on, please tell me who you are and tell me who your kids are so I can say hello. Tonight, we'll be reading the Stinky Cheese Man story. We're not reading this whole book. We're reading the, chink, the Stinky Cheese Man story. Okay, and if we have time, we may throw in another short story. If you do not know of this book, first of all, it's hysterical. Second of all, it's all about fairy tales that they've kind of put a warp take on them. You know what I mean? They're pretty funny. Very funny. Excellent book. Excellent. John Shizika, I'm not saying his name right, and Lane Smith. Those are the authors. Fabulous book. If you don't have it, you should get it. Super funny. Okay. So as you guys are hopping on, say hello. If you're on the replay, give me a hashtag after party. And just so you guys know, we do this every night in Pumped Up Parenting. And uh, I'm going to try to make sure I'm seeing your comments because last night I didn't. So hold on a minute. Let me just get my, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I'm broadcasting and I'm live. Why don't I see me live? Uh-oh. Why am I not live? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Mason. Logan, who's there? Sarah, are you seeing me on Pumped Up Parenting? Or are you seeing me on my own page? Uh-oh. Did I mess up? Let me see. Let me see if I messed up because... Oh! I'm on my own page. Okay, I'm going to have to share this into Pumped Up Parenting. Whoops. Hold on. Hold, please. I messed up. Okay, well, either way, we're doing it. Okay? So. Hi. Good. Hi, Nadia. All right, so Mason's there, Logan's there. You see why I'm parenting. Okay, well, I don't know where I am. So, <laughs> at least I'm here because last night I did it on Facebook's new platform and it was terrible. So, I hope I had to switch back to the old platform and I hope it worked. Um, so, anyway, so glad you're here. Mason, Logan, Christian, are you all there? Is Paul there? Anyway, hi, guys. I love you. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Nadia. Love you guys, too. Hi, Dietra. And uh, anyone else that's coming on. And if you have kids with you and I don't know your kids' names, put them in the comments so that I can say hi to them, okay? So, here's the thing about this book. Like I said, Sticky Cheese Man is a collection of fairy tales, only not the normal fairy tales you're used to. The crazy fairy tales that they've changed this to. So, the one we're going to read tonight is actually the cover of the book, The Stinky Cheese Man. Oh, you're all there watching. Yay. Hi, guys. I miss you. My grandbabies are there and my kids because they had to have the grandbabies. Okay. So, we're going to read this and we're going to read the cover story, The Stinky Cheese Man. Are you ready? Now. There's a lot of words per page. There's not tons of pictures. And if we have time, we'll read one bonus story. And if you have this book at home, give me a one. Hi, Tori. Hi, Jacob. Tori. Tony. Sorry, Tony. I, I can't see out of my glasses. Hi, Tony. Hi, Jacob. Love you guys. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely. So the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for his eyes and put him in the oven to cook. There he is. Stinky cheese man. Okay. When she opened the oven to see if she, he was done, the smell knocked her back. The few. What is that terrible smell, she cried. The sticky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling. See, here they are, guys. Look, they're knocked out. Run, run, 
and run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the sticky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air and said, I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in the field. Wow, what's that awful smell, said the cow. See, look at the cow got great illustrations. The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man and I can run away from you too. I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, I'll bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. I think I'll just eat weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside the school. Gross, said the little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from the little old lady and the little old man and the cow, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. A little boy looked up, sniffed the air, and said, if we catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him. Let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. See, there's the kid in the corner. By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross the river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart, said you-know-who. Just then, the shy fox, who shows up in a lot of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Why, just hop on my back. And I'll carry you across, Stinky Cheese Man. How do I know you won't eat me? Trust me, said the fox. So the Stinky Cheese Man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, Oh man, what is that funky smell? The fox coughed, gagged, and sneezed. And the sticky cheese man flew off his back and into the river where he fell apart. The end. See? Ah, he fell apart. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Anne. Hi, Rachel. Okay, so I'm going to read you one more bonus story out of this book. Isn't that a good story, stinky cheese man? And this one, whoops, it's not that one. This one's called, called The Tortoise and the Hare. Good stories, huh? This one's a little shorter, and this is the last one I'm going to read out of this book because this book goes on forever, but it's hysterical. You should get it. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise who was very slow but very dependable. He would always get where he set out to go. It just took him longer than most people. One day, Rabbit saw a tortoise walking slowly but surely down the road and said, Tortoise, you are so slow. I could probably grow hair faster than you run. Oh, yes, yeah, said Tortoise slowly. Yes, yeah, said Rabbit. So they decided to race. On the day of the big race, Tortoise and Rabbit lined up at the starting line. Owl said, on your mark, get set, grow. Tortoise started to run. Rabbit started to grow his hair. Oh, I just show you the picture. See the picture? Tortoise ran, rabbit grow his hair. 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 Tortoise is still running. Rabbit is still growing his hair. Not the end. See, there's Tortoise. Did you like that? That was a good one, right? Hi, Kim. So this book is full of all crazy chapters, but that's what I wanted to read to you tonight. And this is the end. Great stories, great fun. I'll tell you what I'm reading tomorrow night, but I don't know. I don't know which one. I'm... Yeah, you know what I'm going to read tomorrow night? I'm going to read this one because it's a really nice book and I love it. And Logan and Mason, you know this one. 
It's called The Kissing Hand. See that one? Oh, no, tomorrow night, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. Because tomorrow's Monday. I lost track of, of days. Monday, my sister Maddie's going to come on, and she's going to tell you guys a story. Then Tuesday, I will be back with The Kissing Hand. And then one, and then one day this week, when the weather is good, Maddie is going to go into the teepee that she keeps on her property and read you a story from the teepee. So I don't know what that day is going to be because it's got to be nice weather. So I will read this Tuesday. Maddie will read on Monday. And every night at 7 o'clock, seven days a week, I'll be reading you stories. And Maddie will pop, pop in as a guest appearance. All right? So that's your story, guys. I hope, oh, not that one. The other one, Stinky Cheese Man. I hope you enjoyed it. Get this book if you don't have it because it's full of fun stuff. Have a wonderful evening. I wish you days filled with peace, love, tons of laughter. It really is the best medicine. Laugh more, have fun more. That's what this book is all about. And I'll see you here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock and around the web. Bye, guys. Love to all my grandkitties. Thanks, Kim.